<laughs> What's going on, guys? It's Dia on the new Hits 97.3, and today I am with a black eyed Peace! Peace. Ooh, I love that I could be a part of that. I Dia. feel a part of the gang. Dia. So, Ritmo is out. I'm getting right to it. The song is unreal. It's literally exploded in Miami. The minute we heard it, we were like, this song is made for us, mm. only to find out it actually was made for us. For Bad Boys 3. For Bad Boys for yeah. Life. So tell me a little bit about how that happened how exciting that was, and just what it feels like to be in Miami hearing your song. It feels great to be here in Miami, you know, to um, you know, to be a part of Bad Boys for Life, uh, Bad Boys 3, that franchise is awesome. Um, it all happened when uh, Zeke from Epic came by the studio um, to listen to some Black Eyed Peas songs because a friend of ours named Sarah told him that we were working on like urban, Latin, Afro fusion. So he comes in and he's like, yo. Actually, he didn't even hear the whole song. He got up in the middle of the song and walked out the studio. So I was like, this guy's rude. <laughs> so it turns out he was calling Sylvia Roan. So she rushed over to the studio um, to validate what Zeke's claims were. And that was Black Eyed Peas has a hit. Um, and the rest is history. Now we're on Epic. We have a number one for four weeks on the Latin streaming charts. About to be number one in Latin radio crossing over to top 40 so thank you guys so much for being one of the first to like support absolutely um black eyed peas and j balvin um this is really 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 it feels really good we're really grateful and, and uh proud and this. how does it feel to hear your song in the city that inspired it like when you pop you turn on the radio and you actually hear ritmo it doesn't matter how many hits you guys have had it must always be a different kind of feeling, but still unbelievably exciting to hear your hit. This hit is the most important hit for me personally right now, <clears throat> because we, yes, we've had a long career, um, but to to be like, yo, check it out, we can hit it out the park, and they're like, yeah, right, I'm like, yo, we can hit it out the park, and you travel around the world and you hear the song on the radio, you come into Miami, and you know this right here is like. This is Latin Switzerland right here. This is Latin Europe. I mean, like you have all the Latinos yeah, here. That you have like Colombians, you Cuban. know, Cubans, Panamanians, Dominicans, you know, some Mexicans. You have Venezuelans, Brazilians. You have everybody right here in the center of Latin America, like Miami. This is great. Yeah, and it was cool to be able to do a song with uh, such an inspirational artist. Um, because right now the pulse is Latino skewing to Latino music and it's becoming the new pop music. Is that J Balvin? <laughs> oh, it's <laughs> Benny. It's Benny. J Lo. J -Lo. Um, so big shout out to J Lo and Shakita for rocking. You know, they're going to rock the Super Bowl. So excited about that. M my point is to be part of this Latino wave. For me as a Native American uh, Mexican, it's, it's, a, it's an honor and I'm glad we're doing this. Yeah, we've always been influenced by uh, Latin music from our previous albums. And uh, this is the actual, you know, uh, this one became a hit. So we're very thankful to all our fans, the Peabody's that are always there for us, uh, even on, on our hiatus. So thank you very much. Absolutely. So you guys keep talking about the way music is moving, the way mm -hmm. that it's changed, Latin influence. And then Will even mentioned that you were already working on something that was such a hybrid, right? But that is such a staple of who you guys are as a band. You've always been able to create music for everybody. Mm -hmm. Your music is a hybrid. You've never really been able to fall into one box or one genre. So tell me a little bit about how your personal life, you know, health, mental wellness, the things that you see when you go and travel and see how your music affects other people around the world has inspired mm -hmm. who you are as artists and the music that you make. Uh, so as far as personal, I think one of the biggest things for me, um, speaking on behalf of uh, my personal experience with battling cancer, mm -hmm. five years ago I, I got diagnosed, beat it, now I'm here. Uh, it taught me a lot about life after that situation and how to appreciate every day that I'm here, um, especially when I'm working with my boys and with, I'm with my wife and my kids. <clears throat> life is not for certain, you know, the next day is not promised. So I take that attitude of like loving and appreciating and respecting everyone and just being um, full of life and energy. And that's how I like to put that into my music or my performance uh, to bring that life vibrancy um, in everything that we do creatively. <clears throat> and us, you know, we are just Los Angeles natives. 
And Los Angeles is like the other melting pot where it's Korean, Filipinos, Persians, Armenians, a lot of Mexicans, a lot of blacks, a lot of whites, but different types of like, you know, nationalities and cultures all coming together under this umbrella of Los Angeles, Angelinos. So obviously, you know, I grew up in an all Mexican neighborhood, so obviously I'm gonna have like some some Latin, you know, some Latin flavors in my in my in my in my gumbo. <clears throat> which gumbo is from Louisiana, but in my in my um I have Latin flavors in my uh, there yeah, you go. in my menudo. <laughs> <laughs> or I have some chicken in my menudo. No tofu vegan. Um <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I'm like a, <laughs> yeah, so Black Eyed Peas is like super, super like eclectic just by just us being Angelinos and not falling under the conditioning of like, gangster rap, do it. You're black. That's what you should do. We were like, nah, nah, nah. I like gangster rap, but I'm from the projects, but I like De La Soul, Trap Called Quest. I like Bossa Nova. I like, you know, Los Bukis. I like Mana. Now that technology has changed, people can get access to more music than ever before. Do you look at other artists and say, wow, it's really cool how they're able to touch on so many genres like we've always done? Do you feel like other people are really catching on to a thought and idea that you guys have per been pursuing and really have been believing in for a long time? Not as much as like cross genre, like genre mixing. I, don't, I still don't th see people being as like, brave and like curious as we are with genres <clears throat> but jay balvin is the what the the only guy that i know that works so much this guy he's like yo will come come to see me tomorrow so i'm like so i went over there yesterday i'm like what are you doing oh i'm shooting a video shooting a video with what with who oh me and uh jay cortez and then well oh wow well, when's this coming out Oh, it's coming out Tuesday. You're shooting it today. And it's coming out. Wow, this guy's like, go, 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 go. Like, wow, this guy, he's like my new inspiration. He's like inspiring me to show like this is work ethic. This is the level that you need to be operating at. And if you're not operating at this level, you're not at the level. Right? So Jay Balvin right now, he is like, Lewis Hamilton, right? He's leading. You know, if this is F1, he's he's Lewis Hamilton. So should we be expecting Black Eyed Peas and Jay Balvin to be working together more? What's 2020 looking like? Where are you guys at in terms of collaborations, music, and what's next for you? Well, we're finishing up the project right now. You know, Remo is, is definitely still uh, climbing the charts. Absolutely. We just crossed into top 40. You know, it started in the Latino community and Latino radio station and we're blessed to be able to still have that, that uh, you know, that level of support. The YouTube numbers keep growing. So we're going to ride Ritmo a little bit. Then we're going to um, release another single and, uh, you know, the do some shows. Album Before Summer. <clears throat> yeah, this, uh, this album is, uh, has a lot of collaboration. But we, we don't want to say it. We want to keep it a surprise. So, uh, definitely the whole album is full of surprises and collaborations and different music genres. Yeah, like I was listening to the project and we have an engineer named Dylan and Dylan's like, yo, well, I remember when you guys were working on the end, you had I Got a Feeling, you had Boom Boom Pow, you had Meet Me Halfway, you had like um, I'm a B, like you had hits on that album. He was like, well, this album, this new Black Eyed Peas record, is the same feeling, bro. Yes, that's so exciting. <clears throat> like, Ritmo is our boom, boom, pow. And we have I Got a Feeling, all these other songs in the chamber. And I feel, I'm so, so excited for no, this one. we're right so, so excited <clears throat> for that to come out. Like, fans are so stoked. I think it's really incredible how you guys have been able to create fans from every age demographic, make music for people across the world, and just continue to inspire future generations of artists mm. to do the same and really touch upon so many people. We're really excited to see your work. What should we be keep, keeping an eye out for right now? Um, keep an eye out for this Black IP, Afro-Latin, future urban sound. Uh, at, at, that's what we're calling it right now. Um, we're gonna try, try to shorten it. Okay. Um, so Afro-Latin, future Afro-Latin, boom! did it 
Future Afro Latin. Got it. Future Afro Latin. But it's not gonna. Yeah, yeah. Future Afro Latin pop. Um, cool urban sound from what's going on. I was like, I think we're still working on that. <laughs> we, we also want to thank. Uh, we want to thank our new home, Sony uh, Epic, for um, for the belief and the partnership. You know, it's it's great when you can, you know, be away and go through situations like what I said about overcoming cancer and, you know, us going back to work and doing the things that we've been doing throughout the years. But in 2020, to be able to have a home like Sony and Epic and the belief and all the people that are putting in the work, we're just very blessed and we're thankful. Absolutely. And any last words for Shakira and JLo before they take the stage? I know you guys know a thing or two about taking on a halftime show. Right now, <clears throat> the queens of the Latin world are going to go up there and show America and the rest of the world just how beautiful the Latin culture is and all of the acts that they're going to have supporting them. This is like the, I, I think this is going to be the most viewed Super Bowl because, you know, the NFL's open mind to having Latinos headline the whole entire Super Bowl. We're in Miami, and I think it's going to break a lot of records. That's what I'm, I'm, I know it's going to break a lot of records. These girls don't need, these women, these queens, they don't need any, any advice. They know exactly what to do. I know there's going to be a lot of hip shaking. <laughs> It's going to be like a shake. <laughs> it's going to be a hip battle. Like, J-Lo is going to freaking smash it. Think about J-Lo. She's like, I come from a living color. I was a background dancer. Yeah. Well, I, I worked it. I was like, mm, and I worked my way up to the top. She, and then you have Shakita. I'm, Colum I'm a Colombiana. I'm here with my, my folks. I'm just going to be, you know, I'm just going to be really proud. It's gonna be an awesome moment. I feel yeah. the same way. I, I wanna say congratulations and just uh, let them know like how proud we are, not only as fans, but as, as friends. We've, we've, uh, we've come across paths with Shakita and, and J-Lo many times, and we're just very glad that they're representing this year and that the NFL is opening their mind to other nationalities and other styles of music. I'm gonna keep it short, enjoy yourself. Queens, rock it. I love it. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. Congratulations on Ritmo. The movie is incredible. Your song being a part of it is such a staple to what Miami culture is. We're really excited about all the other amazing projects that you guys are going to be working on and the album. I can't wait. Counting down the, uh, the unknown minutes. See ya. Thank you guys so much. It's the new It's 97.3.